guys, it's me, Cupie83. I have a few things to show you today in this review. I'm super excited. I think you'll really like them. Um, so at Toy Fair, I met with the people behind the Queen's Treasures. The Queen's Treasures started in 2005. They have a showroom in Pennsylvania. So if you live in Pennsylvania, check out their website, find the address, and if you live nearby, check out their showroom. Um, so if it's anything like the Toy Fair display was, it'll probably be phenomenal. So what is the Queen's Treasures? The Queen's Treasures is a company that does a few different things. First, they sell tea sets, like legit tea sets. Um, so definitely check out their website if you're in the, you know, the realm of tea set collecting. But they also sell a bunch of really nice handcrafted items for 18 inch dolls. So they started out making trunks, handcrafted doll trunks, carriers, that sort of thing. Then they kind of branched out and now they make everything from beds to tables to chairs to 1930s inspired ovens to outfits. They make clothing for 18 inch dolls. Um, they make little food items which are adorable. It's like miniature food items which are, as you know, one of my like staples. I love, I love miniature food items and they sell so many adorable ones. They are a company that pretty much stays within the realm of vintage or historical themed items. They do have some things like some of the beds that are more generic like that, but a lot of what they do really well are the historical and vintage themed pieces, or at least that's what stands out to me. So for example, what you're going to see here is items based off of the Donut Girls. I had never heard the story before going to Toy Fair and then I saw some of these pieces and I was like, I fell in love with them. They were just so very cool. They are uh, working on Little House on the Prairie. They're going to make a whole line of Little House on the Prairie accessories. I saw the prototype for the covered wagon at Toy Fair and it looked super cool, guys. And it was just the prototype. But for today, we are talking about a few different items. Most of these, all of them really, are connected to the Donut Girls story. And here's a recap on what the Donut Girls were. I did not know about them until Toy Fair. In 1917, there was um, a young en ensign from the Salvation Army named Helen Provence, or Provence, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce her last name. She was sent to France to help American soldiers in battle during the First, first World War. So their assignment, the Salvation Army's assignment, was to offer comfort to homesick soldiers and with very little to work with. They decided the way to do that was to um, give them a, t a little taste of home. So they started making donuts for the soldiers. So on the first day, they only could serve 150 donuts. The next day, they doubled that, um, and so on and so on. So a while later, when they were fully equipped, they fried some 2,500 to 9,000 donuts for these soldiers daily. Of course, the whole theme of the Salvation Army is to comfort those in need, and that was definitely what they were doing back in 1917, and it's what they're doing still today in 2015. Let's talk about this line that was inspired by this really interesting story. So we have a few different pieces here. I guess we'll start with the outfit first. So this is a vintage inspired Salvation Army outfit. It's supposed to look like it would have been in 1917. I think it's really cute. This is uh, of the two outfits they offer, this is my favorite. So this fits an 18 inch doll. It's not specifically American Girl, but it fits American Girl. This is a Pleasant Company Girl of Today. So you kind of have an idea of what kind of body this American Girl doll has. American Girls have shrunk over the years. So this is a little tight in the waist area. Pleasant Company Girls like mine are just a little thicker. But it's not so bad in the neck and the arms seem fine and the length is really great. So it's just the, the waist where it's a little tight, but you can still the doll can still wear this just fine, and it looks really good on her. It does not come with boots, so you will have to buy those separately. I believe I did see boots on the website. This is Velcro, so you'll see there's little Velcro tabs here. That's what's holding the outfit on. They look really good, actually, and they work fine. Um, just be careful if you're taking outfits on and off. Just make sure you're taking the proper side of the velcro as you you pull this is a really cute outfit though it fits her well 
she can still move her hands, she can still move her legs, and you know, she can work with the pieces rather nicely. And it comes with this adorable hat. Really, I mean, the hat is the, the clincher here. This is the best, the cutest little hat to go with this. Here we have the Donut Girls accessory pack. It has some really cute things. So we have some pure sugar cane and we have some flour. Obviously there's nothing in here but fluff, but they're packaged well, they're thick. They like feel like there's substance. And if for the back of a photo shoot or if you're just creating a diorama or something with your dolls, these are really, really cool props. You get a rolling pin because you can't make donuts without a rolling pin. It works just like a rolling pin should, made of wood, very sturdy, quite nice, and proportioned well to an American girl. She can't really hold it, obviously, this particular doll, but it's not the rolling pin's fault. <laughs> we have a sifter. It works. You spin the, the handle here and you'll see inside that it will sift things. So we have a scooper for the um, sugar and the flour. It is proportioned well to an 18 inch doll's hand. And last, well not really last, we have donuts. They're adorable guys. They're just so so very cute. So in this set you get six donuts. They all look like this because let's be honest they probably all looked something like this in 1917. You weren't gonna get like chocolate donut or you know sparkly donut or whatever. You were gonna get a donut that looks like this and I'm sure is delicious. So you get six of those and of course you get a tub so you can stick all of the accessories in the tub if you're not using it or you can just make a really cool background piece, you know? Something really neat for to make your pictures pop. This is a 1930s style stove. It's very cool. So it's made of wood. Very sturdy. There's no plastic bits. It was handcrafted and you can tell it's handcrafted. I think for the price, it's priced rather well too for the work that was put into it. So there's a few different things here. We have a drawer here. We have one here. We have one here. We have the actual oven itself. This will come out if you need it to, so you could put your donuts on there. And then push it in and then close the oven. And you can let them cook for a while. Take them out. Say, oh, that's all done. We also have the stove top right here as well. It's all stable. I mean, it's all even. This does wobble just a little bit, but I think that is due to it being handcrafted. So you never know. So mine just has a, one leg that's a little shorter than the other. I do love that you could tell it was truly inspired by a 1930s stove. Um, I think the pieces and the drawers all work really well. And I like the colors. I like the whole like slightly off white paint they used with the black to embellish the uh, the design a little. I like it, I think it's cute. Last but not least, we have the Donut Girl uniform. This is sold separately as well. All of these pieces are sold separately. So this is one thing, this is another, this is its own, and then this is its own. So this is the uniform for the Donut Girls. Now, it fits fine in the shoulder and the sleeve area. Fits fine in terms of length. The only thing where it, the place where it's a little tight is the back of the neck. And that's only because this is a Pleasant Company Samantha. It's not one of the newer ones. And as I said, some of these are thicker than the current dolls. So that's the only place where it's tight. It's not tight in the torso, which is where I actually expected it to be tight. This is really cute look though. Again, no shoes on this. You don't get a cool hat but it is very, very neat. So that's a little bit about the Queen's Treasures. I hope you enjoyed this little peek at the Donut Girls series. I really do like these. I, I don't see anything wrong with them whatsoever. I love the little accessories that they put together. The outfits are just really cute and they fit my Pleasant Company girls better than I thought they would. 
um, based on how the current American Girl clothing fits them. And this is just fantastic. I mean, look at this. This is a really cool prop. I can't wait till I have space and I could just like stick it up there and put it all by it and just take a bunch of pictures. Huge thank you to the company for sending these for review. It was great getting to meet them at Toy Fair. They're family run, they make high quality products. Definitely worth checking out if this is the kind of doll that you collect. If you have any questions, you can leave them down below. In the description area, you'll also find all the links to their social media sites, Facebook, website, that sort of thing, so you can find them everywhere they are on the web. A uh, huge thank you again to the Queen's Treasures for sending these for review, and I will see you guys soon. Bye!